Keeping Up Appearances is a beloved British sitcom that had a run on BBC One between 1990 and 95. It was a hit in the UK and ranked as the 12th best British sitcom of all time in a 2004 BBC pool. It was also a favorite of audiences all over the world, particularly in the US, Australia, and other parts of Europe like Belgium, Denmark, Sweden, and more. The show was written and created by Roy Clark, and it told the story of Hyacinth Bucket, an odd duck who has her heart set on climbing the social ladder of her middle-class town. After 45 episodes over five series, Keeping Up With Appearances ended its run in 1995. It's been released on DVD and is syndicated in the UK, the US, and Australia. Much of the success of the show was due to the estimable actors on it. In this video, we're taking a look at a few of them to discuss their career, what they've been up to since the show ended, and paying tribute to those who have since passed on. Stay tuned as Facts First presents Keeping Up Appearances Appearances, cast, careers, and deaths after the show ended. Patricia Routledge, Hyacinth Bucket Patricia Routledge was the anchor of the show, as it chronicled her character's many attempts to climb the social ladder. But Patricia, originally from Birkenhead, was not only a well-known actress before joining the show, she also had great success after it ended. In her youth, she graduated from Liverpool University and immediately began working for free at the Liverpool Playhouse. But that time paid off, as she was eventually asked to join the performing company there. She also studied stage acting at Bristol's Old Old Vic Theater. But it was upon her move to London that her career began to blossom. She found role after role on stage, eventually finding success on Broadway as well. In those days, she performed in Shakespeare plays and musicals like Carousel. In the 1950s and 60s, she landed roles on TV, including parts on Coronation Street, and TV movies like Androcles and the Lion and Where I Live. She acted steadily through the 1970s and 80s as well, appearing in fare as varied as Victoria Wood as seen on TV, to Alan Bennett's Talking Heads. She also continued her work on stage throughout these decades, and this included a Tony Award-winning performance in 1967 in Broadway's Darling of the Day. It also included a praised performance as Queen Margaret in Richard III from the Royal Shakespeare Company. Since the end of Keeping Up Appearances, she's had a stellar career. She was able to parlay the fame and success that the show brought her into being the lead of another successful show. This time, it was in Hetty Wainthrop Investigates, a cozy murder mystery series that lasted from 1995 to 98. Once that wrapped, Patricia was able to return to her passion for stage acting. She's toured with a variety of shows, such as The Importance of Being Earnest and An Ideal Husband. Even as she gets up there in years, it's clear her love for acting, as well as her intense work ethic, have kept her thriving. While her last TV or film credit was in 2005 as a narrator in the series Blips, she has maintained a hefty working schedule on stage to this day. And for her contributions, to the arts, she was given a damehood in 2017 by the late Queen Elizabeth. Clive Swift, Richard Bucket Clive Swift played Richard Bucket, the long-suffering husband of Patricia's Hyacinth. Towards the beginning of the show, he was employed by the local council, but by the third series, he retired and got to be the recipient of Hyacinth's torturous personality full-time. Though it should be noted, Richard certainly felt love and affection for her, but struggled with her social climbing and needless expenditures. Swift was from Liverpool, born in 1936. He attended Clifton College as well as Gonville and Caius College in Cambridge and began his acting career career on stage in 1959. He worked a tremendous amount in the years leading up to being cast on Keeping Up Appearances, with roles in productions ranging from Dombey and Son to 30-minute theaters to South Riding. He worked with Alfred Hitchcock in the 1972 movie Frenzy. After Keeping Up Appearances ended, he worked steadily for the next decades. His credits included 10 episodes of Peak Practice, playing Norman Shorthose, 3 episodes of Aristocrats, playing King George II, and 36 episodes as Reverend and Brewer on Born and Bred. He continued to act until his final credit in 2017 as Felix Hope in Midsummer Murders. Sadly, he died at age 82 on February 1st, 2019 in London. He had three children from his marriage to Margaret Drabble, which lasted from 1960 to 1975. Josephine Tucson, Elizabeth Warden Josephine Tucson played the Bucket's neighbor, Elizabeth Warden, a nervous woman who had to deal with Hyacinth's exploits, but who always lent her a friendly ear. Born in 1931 in London, she was the daughter of a professional musician and a nurse. She studied acting at Royal Academy of Dramatic Art and graduated from there in 1952. Some of her early acting successes were in the 1960s when she was on Z Cars and The Charlie Drake Show. 
Things started to really move forward for her in the 1970s when she starred in the sitcom Shelley for six series. She also appeared regularly as a sketch performer on shows like Hark at Barker and David Frost on Sunday. She could also be heard on the radio comedy show Mostly Monkhouse. In the 1980s, she had assorted roles, including a part as Jane Travers in the sitcom Clarence, acting opposite Ronnie Barker. After keeping up appearances, Tucson worked steadily. Her most notable role was in 62 episodes of Last of the Summer Wine as Miss Davenport. She was also in the show Heartbeat in 2002 and, like Clive Swift, an episode of Midsummer Murders. She was interviewed for Comedy Connections, a documentary series in which she spoke about her years on keeping up appearances as well as the two Ronnies. In 2012, having finished up her stint on Last of the Summer Wine, she decided to dive back into the world of keeping up appearances. With a one-woman show called Still Keeping Up Appearances, she toured the UK with the show and it was well-received. She died at age 91 in August of 2022. David Griffin, Emmett Hawksworth David Griffin played Emmett Hawksworth, the brother of Josephine Tucson's Elizabeth Warden. He was born in Richmond, Surrey in 1943. He began acting in the 1960s and worked steadily for the next 40 or so years. He first appeared in a film called A French Mistress in 1960. He found early roles in shows like Outbreak of Murder, Quick Before They Catch Us, and Fifth Form at St. Dominic's in the early 1960s. In the 70s, he was in a variety of shows, ranging from Emmerdale Farm to Dixon of Doc Green. And then from 1984 to 88, he played Clive Dempster in Heidi High. That was probably his second most well-known part, other than Emmett Hawksworth in Keeping Up Appearances. Since that show ended, he's kept more of a low profile when it comes to film and TV. He did, however, join the worldwide tour of the stage show, The Good Sex Guide, alongside Sue Pollard. And he's been a part of several prominent panto shows like Jack and the Beanstalk. Like Josephine Tucson, he was interviewed in 2014 for the docuseries Comedy Connections, where he talked about his time on keeping up appearances. Griffin is now in his 80s and has been leading a more low-key life. He lives with his French wife, but little else is known about what he's been up to. Jeffrey Hughes, Onslow. Jeffrey Hughes portrayed Onslow, Hyacinth's brother-in-law. He was born in 1944 in Wallasey, Cheshire, and a big part of his early acting success came from his long tenure on Coronation Street. He played Eddie Yates and Phil Ferguson on the long-running soap, appearing in more than 400 episodes over his nine years on the show. And while many find it a difficult transition to move from soap opera acting and find success elsewhere, this wasn't an issue for Jeffrey. He managed to keep working steadily until finally finding another big role as Onslow. After keeping up appearances, he landed another memorable role as Twiggy on the popular show The Royal Family, and he won praise for his part in Heartbeat as Vernon Scripps. Hughes was known to play lovable rogues and big, affable characters, and he knew the ways into an audience's heart. Sadly, in 1996, he was diagnosed with prostate cancer, and while he managed to keep working and fight the disease for many years, he ultimately died from it in 2012. Judy Cornwell, Daisy Judy Cornwell played Daisy, the wife of Onslow. It's the role she's most known for, though she has found steady work as an actress since her debut in 1959 until as recently as 2014, when she appeared as Annie in the TV series Birds of a Feather. In the mid-1970s, she played Daphne Pegg on 12 episodes of Moody and Pegg, and she also played Bessie Tulliver for eight episodes of The Mill on the Floss. Over the years, she's also written a fair share of novels. These include titles like Cow and Cow Parsley, The Seventh Sunrise, and Fear and Favor. Since keeping up appearances, she's worked steadily, with her most prominent role perhaps being Queenie, Heather Trott's mother on East Enders. Now it's time to hear from you. Who is your favorite character on Keeping Up Appearances? Let us know in the comments section below.